Yes. Oh, gee. Outside of my cultural relativity. So. Good thing it's dark. Yeah, you're in the hallway, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's because he was defeated. And he, really, guys? Well, and, right and he was, well, he was running away, which is a... Well, he he thing. was he was getting ready to escape a situation yeah. that there was no way they were going to win. Well, yeah. So and then he got captured. Mm-hmm. So now he's now he's he's the honors. <laughs> so he uh, he he awesome. take, takes off his yeah. his uh, his hood, okay, and he mm-hmm. has the tanto blade towards his crotch. He is on his knees. Um, he yep. unties and opens his gi, yep. picks up the tanto, and over on the left-hand side, and he inserts it enough to uh, hit on the right-hand side of his spine, and then he drags the blade, and it's a very, very sharp blade, over to the oh, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you okay. see a tear form at his left eye, and that's go time. Yeah, and I remove his head. Okay. So, Depends the other part of it. Yeah. So his <laughs> head rolls to Chris's feet. Uh, and let's see, where's Yamoto? He is dead. I can just imagine, like, Archery from the room was like, Oh, what's going on? Oh, my God! What is this? <laughs> talking to humans! Oh, my gosh! Yeah, if I were there, I'd be yelling the same thing. <laughs> Uh, I slowly just walk over, put my arm around, and just and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just well, um, you left Rios in there. <laughs> let, let's just say this uh, uh, for Rios: you're lucky you don't yet have out that lantern and have it lit. You you found it, you've got it out, but and you're starting to kind of pump the fuel, prime it a little bit. But you have not yet uh, uh, put a match to it. So when you do, Yamoto's head is on the floor um, about here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of get the lights on. Because the, the in essence, the ce- wait a minute. Before I do that, do any of you have any other, uh, anything else that you want to do? I'm going to start with Chris. Uh, I mean, uh, Ninja Seven isn't trying to commit seppuku himself, is he? He actually tried to chew on a uh on an acid tablet, so that he could kill himself, and his die roll failed. Same thing with Yamoto, because Yamoto did try to roll so that he would not be recognized or be able to to have anything done with him. Uh, Ninja 7 is going to turn out to be a nondescript entity. So, but, uh, uh, so anything else you want to do? I mean, is he unconscious? 7? No, he's not unconscious, but he's no longer fighting. He realizes that he has been beaten and uh, has surrendered himself. Well, I'm going to zip tie him. (laughs) Okay, you guys flip him over and more or less get him zip tied. Yeah, trust him up. Pretty good. Okay, Okay. Uh, Rios, uh, you're still just working with your lantern, right? Oh, yeah, I I guess do I finally get my lantern working now? Yeah, you can you can finally get your lantern working. Uh, uh hmm. How am I gonna do this? Uh, I need to open How somebody do you else's. React? Let's see. Where is Chris at? Where did Chris move his tab? His uh. Chris, where are you? Over here. He's out in the hall, right under Andon. Yeah, I was like, I I pulled Atorius out of the room and closed the door. <laughs> I can't see your character, dude. He's right under Andon, that's why. Oh, he is <laughs> under right Andon. Under yeah. Oh, on my oh. screen, I'm over. But yeah. oh. Oh, we are in the same square. I well, can move my character. Now he's under me. Yeah, if I'll you... move my guy so he can get to him. There oh, you oh. go. <laughs> 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 okay, now what was I looking for? You are looking for Chris. Uh, yes, I know, but what was I looking for with Chris? What were you I don't trying know. to do? You need to tell us. 
Um, oh boy. Was it for some kind of lighting configuration? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. GM notes. Let me open this. And then I can close Chris because I, I the GM notes are open. And then let's go over to Rios. Oh boy. Okay, so that's the shield ring. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I need the token. So let's see. It figures. Zoom out. Token. <sighs> okay, you get over there. Okay. <sighs> So, where am I? Vision. The monochrome is going to stay as it is. 7 to 3.5. Vision angle, angle is 360. Okay. Uh, light. Basic configuration. No, the light radius is going to be good on this. Um, let's see. Let's go 7 and 3.5 on that. Uh, emission angle is 360. Light color is is uh, is okay. going to stay with this BE nine B five A. It's unacceptable. Uh, number BE nine B five A because that's the standard monochrome color. Uh, you like to think that, sure. No ghostly light. That's not going to be in there, and no change. So update token. There you go. All right. That takes care of those GM notes. Um, now all I'm going to have to do is, is uh, that's really kind of bright, isn't it? So everybody's blind. <laughs> Color intensity. Whoops. Yeah, let me see. Nope, that's not helping. Okay, vision. Is there a color intensity on the vision? Light. Aha! There we go. Color intensity. Uh, 0.15. Let me take go. that. Let me take that to zero because the you don't even need it that bright. Okay. Update token. There we go. Are you seeing that? Okay. Or is that too dark? Let me see uh, what the. Oh, that's pretty bright. You you've got some good brightness there. I, I can see uh, Chris, who's all, like, glowy and... Oh, mm. I closed that door on accident. That's my fault. Hang on. No, get that I did. I did. Oh, you I did? I closed the door. Yeah, he closed <laughs> the door. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Out. He's like, yeah, we're just going to get out of here. <laughs> just close the door. <laughs> okay, now lighting effects and stuff like that, um, I will mark them on your standard tokens, um uh you know like after after tonight is done um the way things are right now we could probably finish the scene and the act tonight and it kind of get you guys pointed in the right direction for act two but we're not there yet uh i asked chris what he wanted to do and you bumped andon into the room and what else uh, uh nothing I... okay uh, Peaches and Andon are locking down Ninja 7. Um, let's see. Rios got out her lamp and got it started. Artorius. Yes, sir. Well, uh, is that all you're doing is just kind of standding in there? Well, I mean, I come into the way to get the Chris's sheet. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the only reason why he moved, and I yeah he moved yeah yeah the uh, oh the the number of spaces in here is kind of really tight, so I mean from, yeah and the most part be like I, I I'm 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 sorry about that I I, I wasn't able to defeat the other ninja he got he got away this place the smoke and everything I I, I I'm sorry uh, no no it's fine it's fine you at least stop two of them from running away uh the rest are uh or unfortunately dead well one ran away but you know you know oh, 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 i just hope that won't cause p uh, p problems you know i, I don't want to cause problems i mean it's going to be difficult to get the blood out of all this carpet very true i don't think the carpet is a worry of ours we should well, I'm uh, okay. trying to focus on something mundane. Thank you very much. We <laughs> trying hard not to freak out right now. Okay. We should. Uh, I mean, have, have, you not, have you not seen someone be held by us before? Is that freaking you out? I'm sorry. 
<laughs> That's to be very scary. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, Ginger. <laughs> so, if you have cards, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nightbird, is there anything special you're looking to do? Well, since he's dead now, yeah, uh, search him. Okay, all right. Uh, let's get to that in a minute. Let's finish the combat. Okay, the combat is oh. done. The no, no, the combat is done. But we okay. it, we're we're kind of getting. I guess we're not at the end of the scene yet. Uh, but let's do yeah, this. I didn't, I didn't understand why we're if they're if we haven't captured them all, then let's capture them. Yeah, there there's o there was only one left to capture. So, okay. okay. So, um, if you have cards in your pool, let's go ahead and take care of this right now. If you've got cards in your pool, take them back out of your pool, please, and I will end the combat. And if you guys don't remember how to do that, then uh, I can walk you through it. <clears throat> it's the same way as putting them into the pool. You're just deselecting the square. Peaches, you've got a glory card in there yet. There you go. All right, so I'm ending the combat. Yes, and that'll be that. And then I'm going to close that so it'll go back to its own tab. Okay, so things to finish for uh, for the scene. Um, Bouchard, who for some reason didn't take any damage whatsoever, um... And I still can't figure out how he didn't. Unless this is a really special character. Um, anyway, did you like soak some damage he took at one point? I did. I, I used uh, one possibility. How many possibilities does he have left? He has zero possibilities left at this point. So, um, okay, if any of you look outside, you'll notice that power is off uh, on this side of the highway. Um, but it's like all up and down the block. And if you were able to look on the other side of the house, you would see that it's several blocks behind you all the way to the lake. Now, Nightbird, let's go ahead and deal with you searching first. Um, actually, uh, go ahead, if you would please, uh, just make a fine test. Um. It's not even really that difficult of a fine test. Just just do a standard thing. And I'm going to expand this so that I can go through his gear. Plenty of abilities. It was stupid of me not to use them all. Uh, oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. You should no longer... Oh. Okay, hold on. Remove that. And then you're wounded, right? Yeah, yeah you, you've got two wounds, so that's your minus two right there. Um, so let's see, that's still only a seven. Uh, you are out of rounds now, so any cards you have in your hand you can play. If you've got anything that might give you a bonus to your roll. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ginger, ooh, wow. Um, you posed that. A little while ago, seven minutes ago. Um, w can we finish this part real quick? Yeah, but let's be quick. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, why don't you go ahead and uh, and we'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Here, here. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, don't don't wait on him. So <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um you okay, Ross. Um yeah. you've got the special katana. Oh, 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 hold on. Nope. He disconnected. So you have Yabu Tokanda's katana. But it is no longer, um, oh, wrong one. It is no longer specialized for Pan Pacifica. Uh, it's a standard katana, except that it does strength plus five. 
instead of strength plus four as a standard katana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you want me to give you all of those stats? Yeah, I can put it on the one. Oh, I can put it on your character sheet, dude. Let yeah. me let me edit this real quick. Um, so strength plus five. The armor piercing goes away because that's part of it. So that's a zero. Cosm strength plus five. Uh, to do to do to do to do any shot caused is plus one that goes away. Oh, I need to edit that. I mean, that might. Is there any way to make that happen, or is it because he's dead? It's because <laughs> he's dead and he disconnected. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Fair enough. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna leave it yeah, in there. I can hear it. Just hear it to the council. Okay. Uh, hold on. I've got to be able to type here. Um. Uh, let's see. Disconnected. No specials. Okay, any shock. And then we'll close that off. Disconnected. So the other one remains. Let me save this. Uh, oh, the Cosm was... Pan well, the Cosm is now Core Earth, even though it was um, formerly um, Pan Pacifica. Let me write up... Um, uh, special scrawling on uh, uh, special scrawling on blade uh, and special wrapped handle um, Tokanda uh, Yabu family because Tokanda would be the first name Yabu family I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the standard description Okay, got that. Control X tab. Let me edit this. Okay, so I'm going to put this in as a special note. Um, control B, Control I, note, Control I. Um, no, don't need to do that. Okay, yeah, leave that alone. Okay, now let me get Nightbird open. Now I want you to keep in mind, if you decide you're going to use this sword, it's going to become uh, an issue. Wait a minute, I forgot to edit that out. Okay. No AP. Okay, and... Okay, got that done. And let's drag this over to your sheet. There we go. Um... And we're going to close that because he is dead, dead, dead ski. Okay, you find Three. a standard size business card. It's white on one side and solid red on the back. Uh, it is made of cardboard, but on the front where the white is, it's got a large round circle. It's got a multicolored K in it. You know that to be Conowa Corporation, and uh, you know that to be the the Conowa children uh, who, who are in charge of that cosm now. Um, yeah. although only one is really in charge anymore. Um, on the back side of the card is a solid red. It has nothing else on it. Um, uh, the, oh, wait a minute. On the white side, there's also an address, uh, that says Cherry Blossom Research Park. Now, whoever found the other card out in the yard... That one says the same thing, and it's the same type of card. Uh, there seems to be nothing special to it, to either of those cards. That's where I'm going to leave it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, what else was on Tokanda's person? Uh, he had throwing stars, which are no longer the, the shock stars. Um, uh, he had a standard fragmentation grenade. Um... And his the Ira mesh clothing that he was wearing as his gi turns into a regular gi. Uh, and then he's got some more smoke pellets. Um, did I mark down how many he's got? Uh, I did not. 
uh, but you you would find a total of about five smoke pellets. Now these, of course, are a ninja standard thing, so I don't know if you would want them or not. No, I'm thinking for me. <laughs> okay, all right. It's it's just a standard fragmentation grenade. Uh, hang on, let me. No, my I'll just let the council or whatever have. Oh, you okay? <laughs> Um, I still want to put it on. You know what? Could you list that on your notes tab? Okay. Uh, that and in. yeah, uh, Takanda's sword can stay on there, but uh, you could uh, mark it uh, uh, as as being that you want to give it to the DC. Okay. Yeah. So that's Nightbird. Unless you have something else you need to do. Okay, Artorius. What do you, what if anything would you like to do? I've I've got nothing. You've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Is that what it is? So let's see. Note of you, spellcraft. Uh, yeah. There's really not much you're going to be able to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You don't really have any powers or any. Well, you've got your spells, but that's about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Next, Rios. Um, you got your, you got your lantern lit. You see the devastation around you, uh, in including the beheaded um, uh, Iramasu Yamoto. Um, so you got your lantern lit. Uh, was there anything in particular you wanted to do? Um, so would I be able to see what Nightbird has gotten from Yamamoto? Um, probably. I mean, that depends on, on if, uh, if uh, Nightbird tries to kind of hide things away. So you would have to discuss that with Ross. I see. So Ross, would you be trying to hide what you found from his body or no? When Ross gets back, I think I'm going to ask if maybe I could acquire a couple of those smoke bombs he got. Um, that depends on if he would even have touched them. It might be considered a dishonor to even touch the things. I see. On that case, I'd just take them myself. Do you want all five? Yes, please. Okay, let me... Wait a minute, what did I do here? Oh, okay. So all of that stuff is off. He's oh, why did I remove the dead? He wasn't supposed to be dead. Ah, uh, Yamoto's dead. Let's just get in there. Okay. Uh so let's see. Let's get you opened up here. Let me uh, let me edit this. The uh, the smoke pellets. Let's see. Um, uh. Total pellets, five. Okay, did I put that there? Leaf smoke in five meter radius. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put a number in the title uh, to represent that there's five. Let's make sure it he heads over there. And there they are. Okay. Uh, I mean, using these is really pretty simple. Um, uh, although you may still want to talk to Nightbird about uh, about the best means of using them. Uh, anything else you need to do, Rios? Um, not that I can think of. I might just try to regroup with Andon, see if he's okay. And okay. more, more like he'd come over to me and see if I'm okay. To be well, honest. <laughs> uh, yeah. Once, once that ninja is zip tied, um, we, we would have to figure out: would Andon still keep a close gun on on the ninja, and maybe just look over and ask you how you're doing? Hmm. Yeah, probably. Unless I was very visibly injured, he would definitely stick to the visible threat. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking that too. He's, he seems a, it seems that you've made him somewhat of a professional sort. 
Um, yeah. Okay, Peaches. Are you just holding on to Ninja 7? Uh, more or less, but this... <clears throat> Samurai Swords. Oh, Did you... he have an electrical one, too? Yeah, do you want to relieve him of them? Yes, and, okay. and all of his items, actually. Okay, uh, let's see. What does he have? Let me expand this so that I can easy, more Ooh. easily read it. Abilities... Okay, gear. Uh, let's see. He's got the electric katana, which since he did not disconnect, is still an electric katana. Uh, he has the Kanawa throwing stars. Uh, the gi that he is wearing is made of iron mesh clothing, and then he's got the five, uh, you know, five smoke pellets himself. So, yeah, um... are you going to leave him naked? Uh, uh, well, I'll leave him with his underwear, but yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So it looks more like a diaper when you uh, yeah, when you get the gi off of him. But you have a new set of Iron Mesh clothing. Let me uh, let me just kind of start moving stuff over. Okay, gear. All right, here we go. Uh, you can pick up his katana from the floor, so he is no longer carrying that. Now, I want you to bear in mind, you guys are starting to get pretty loaded down. Okay, so let me this look at it. We'll, uh, the iron we'll, uh, mesh clothing comes off. Okay, so there you go. Um, okay, um... So th did I get the smoke pellets? I don't think I... Uh, I did not. Let me write the note on the smoke pellets and I'll drag those over. Um, let's see. I'm going to do the same thing I did for Rios. So they're in the title and they're in the description. Uh, total pellets. Five. Okay. And there's that. And okay... Got you, Ross. Oh, you were gone, and now you're back. From outer space. Okay. <clears throat> we're not going to go through that again, I promise. Um, so those are those pellets. I didn't already put the... Yeah. Yeah, you've got the pellets over there already. So let me edit those instead. Uh, five. And tab. And that. And total pellets five now i don't know what you're going to do with the equipment but you're beginning to feel the weight let's put it that way you're carrying two fire axes which are not light you've got your power gloves you're carrying an electric katana uh which is a fairly light weapon you're carrying all the throwing stars uh your remington is still jammed which we're going to try and take care of uh it which we should be able to take care of uh at the end of the act uh, you've got the iron mesh clothing, which is not terribly heavy, but you're you're you've got a lot of weight here because you've got both a DC survival kit and a first responders medical bag. You've got uh, just all kinds of stuff. Silver slugs for your shotgun. Um, yeah, yeah um, uh, it, it's true. But she's used to carrying a heavy kit. But uh, but that's not um, saying it won't penalize you. Yeah, that, that that's true. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll see about um, uh, merging the uh, what is it the kit the 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 something kit that you said that we have the, the DC um, survival kit yeah the survival kit with my medical bag and seeing if we can't uh, merge the best of both parts together. Uh, you got a lot of stuff in that bag, in that medical yeah, bag. Yeah. Some of which can be purged. Mm. Okay. Well, well, we'll we'll try and deal with that a little bit later. Um, okay, so it is not quite the end of the scene. Um, um, yeah, what is his name? Captain Bouchard uh, calls out to all of you, and he says, "Someone, get a group of ambulances here. I want all of you checked out." And uh, and my phone is is broken 
<laughs> Anybody got one I can use? Uh, yeah, I hand mine over. Okay, he he grabs the phone. He uh he dials for police to show up and for uh, uh a couple of ambulances to come by. Uh, it's like two minutes and you start hearing sirens from two different parts of town. Um, it like a town in Illinois. Okay, wait a minute. What was that? It's going to clean my antenna and put it in a way. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, has... <laughs> about that time, where are all the lights at? Uh, okay, about that time, all the lights come on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. Yes, that one too. I didn't see that one a minute ago. Uh, the power company comes in and they're like, "Yep, lights are lights are you know they they restore those pretty quickly." Um, anything? Uh, the ambulances come to check you guys out. Okay. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, Bouchard has ambulances there to check all of you out to see you're all well. And once he's determined you're well enough to continue, uh, but we haven't done that yet. Uh, who all took a wound? I took one, but I'm fine. Okay, and you took two. Uh, so let's see. I get a roll first aid. Yay! You hit my. We hit some of my shot back, right? Uh, yeah, all of you will get your shock back within just a few minutes. It's one point of shock is healed per minute. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I better look at first aid because in in the book because I don't have it have its effects written down here. So, <laughs> well, is there a is there a journal of all the stuff that pieces and hollering, or is it all other? It sh it should all be on her character sheet. Um, okay. I, let's see. I Did think she, take, she didn't take the stuff from me that I took from the reader, right? No, she did not. Okay. She did not. Okay. okay. Now, if you guys are interested, configure permissions. Everybody's an owner. If you go to the journal tab, okay, which is the open book looking thing. Yep, yep. And then, uh, let's see, in your Storm Nights section, click on Storm Nights, and then right above the green bar where it says Game General Information, you have Group Equipment List Record. Whatever you guys are intending to, to give over to, uh, to DC, um, let's see, like DC Survival Kits, okay? Uh, uh, those are extra gear that you guys have available to your group, but not all of you have have uh, uh, have availed yourselves of those survival kits. Um, you don't have to turn them in right now necessarily, but anything you intend to turn into the Delphi Council, you could list it here and kind of uh, uh, just get it off of your record. You know, get it off of your character sheet, and then it's not considered, you know, like bulky against you. Fair enough? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I had forgotten that I had that until you mentioned it. Thank you. Okay. First aid uh, covers treatment of traumatic injuries represented by wounds. You're going to have to get out of your armor to do this. Healing wounds generally takes 10 minutes, though the GM may alter this. Difficulty number is a standard 10 plus the patient's current wound penalty, which for you would be minus 2. A standard success removes one wound and the KO condition. A good success removes two wounds and an outstanding success removes three. Each healer may only attempt first aid on a victim's wounds once and only within an hour of the injury. She can try to remove any wounds should they occur, however. So do you have any kind of first aid, Nightbird? Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. In fact, do any of you? Yeah. Do any of you have any first aid? I do have some first aid. Would you like to try to wrap your own wound be, wounds before anybody else gets to you? Now, here here's the trick. <laughs> You're gonna have a minus two because of your wounds, but you're gonna have an additional minus two because you're treating yourself. Yeah. 
I'll let somebody else do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I don't want to make myself worse. I only have two rights, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't make your, you can't really make yourself worse unless you roll a mishap. And then, yeah, that could be a problem. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't have any possibilities yet. So, okay, so, I'm all out, so yeah, so <laughs> Bouchard has a first aid of ten, um, but he's busy coordinating cops and paramedics. What about the rest of you? Nobody else has first aid, huh? I do. Oh, you want and would, medicine, and I and my fancy kit, so I can, I can, I can do either. That's right. That it, doesn't that make it favored. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I'll help him. Oh, oh, hey, Andon has first aid. Well, there you go. Well, um, duh, okay, Andon's mm -hmm. understanding of medicine is going to be way different than Peach's, and he's not going to know what to do with anything. So while he could help Peach's and still grant a plus one, um, if Peaches rolls a mishap on a combined test, it's, it's going to cause more damage. Oof. Yeah. Fair enough. So, right, so he'll just, hmm? he'll just probably follow Peaches around. He ties a mean bandage after she's done cleaning up everything. Sure. Sure. That sounds good. Um, okay. So Peaches... <laughs> Uh, you have a favored uh, skill with that. So let me get over to stats, first aid. I want to be able to walk with you through this. Okay, so the standard is a 10. Uh, that's what the difficulty number is going to be. No bonus, no penalty. It is not disfavored. Um, and you should already have it marked as... Okay, that's right. The... the uh, Wait a minute. Where your why is your first aid not marked favored? Uh, I don't know. Hang on a second. Let me see something here. Effects. Oh, uh, hold on. First responder medical bag on your effects tab. I'm gonna let you do this. On your effects tab, uh, look under your inactive effects. Find your first responder medical bag. And then on that same line, you're gonna ch uh, click on the check mark. There you go. Now, let's try it again. Okay, that's marked as favored. First aid. Okay. And it still doesn't say anything about favored. Let's see what it does when you roll it. Uh, oh, but the penalty, I forgot. Um, uh, down in other modifiers, under description, please type in wound mods and minus two. Uh, where do I do this? Okay, when you open your skill test for first aid. Okay, under description? Under other modifiers. Other modifiers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Under description, you're going to put um, um, uh, wound mods. And you're going to put in the effect uh, area minus two. Why is that? Because uh, he's got two wounds. When you're wow. trying to treat uh, those two wounds, you have to work around the patient. Ah, gotcha. Or she's got two wounds. Sorry, Ross. All right, so go ahead and roll. Uh, yeah, once you've got that in the description, go ahead and roll. Uh, I am definitely going to spend a possibility. Okay, do you want me to mark that off? Yes, go ahead. Okay. All right, that's going to be much, much better. Um, so that's a standard success. So, Ross, you're going to heal one wound and two shock off of that. Okay. Um, okay, now Andon could oh, try... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, favored means I can roll again and take the best, better of the two rolls. Yes, yes, it does. It did not do that for you. I didn't have to take the two. Okay. So, so well, so this is in the middle. Yeah, ho hold on for a second. Do your do your second roll. Let's see if we still need to apply a possibility or not. If not, I'll All give right. it to you back. I keep forgetting it. That's what favored it's means. It's favored, yeah. I keep forgetting that myself. So wound mods is 
two. Yes, minus two. I don't have anything minus two, not a minus two. Okay, that's a lot better. So now you don't have uh, either, any of that damage. Okay, give me my possibility back. Yeah. But, gonna... uh, <laughs> I, I... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please, and thank you. But, uh, uh, what, would this still be a good ses success at uh, minus two for those modifiers? Because I accidentally put a positive 17, 16, 15. It would be just a good success. Okay, okay good. So you'd be right so, at that point, uh, Ross. So what happens? Okay. What happened was uh, the first aid skill for uh, you, uh, along with the first aid bag, that the, the first responders bag that Peaches has allows her the favored ability. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Okay. So she got to roll again. So, yeah, you got your possibility back. Um, Sorry, I, my wounds are healed. Yep, then? your wounds okay. and your shock. Uh, everybody, okay. go ahead and remove your shock. Mm -hmm. And your penalties. Any penalties you've got, go ahead and remove those. And if you're not sure how, let me know. Uh, well, I, I assume uh, it resets mine. Uh, I, I yeah, I you don't have, have any. any. So. I notice I don't have any skills more favored. Right. Um, most of uh, no, not necessarily unless you have a special okay. ability that allows you to. Like your first aid, you've got a first aid kit in there. Um, uh, in your effects tab, which is the second one from the bottom, if you go and look at the first aid kit, it's in inactive effects. Um, oh, if, yeah, that's true. yeah, if you click the check mark, it'll put it in active effects and make it favored. But since you're not using the kit right now, you're good to go. Um, now, what about my armor? Shouldn't all that... No, you you don't have chameleon plates and you don't have ultralight alloys, as far as I know. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Perks. Hold on, Iangusoku armor and look at enhancements. Yeah, you've got none of that stuff checked right now. So, okay. uh, if you go to your perks tab, then edit your Iangusoku armor. And when that pops up the new window, you've got four tabs on the right. Stats, enhancements, limitations, and effects. Uh, click on enhancements. You're going to see that you have taken none of those. Now, oh, yeah. okay. each one of those yeah, okay. is an individual perk to take. Oh, it, oh, it, yeah, it, enhancements work the same as perks. So, um, all yeah, right. Um, so I'll have to buy those. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to get those separately to improve your armor. Okay, I'm not going to remove your anybody's tokens just yet because I have to transfer your GM notes to the from these tokens to your permanent tokens. Actually, I may just make these your permanent tokens uh, and, and just leave those notes there, uh, but get rid of your lighting effects. Um because I've got all kinds of GM notes in there. In fact, for for Rio, so I'm going to have to do that with your lantern. Uh, okay, is there anything else that any of you needs to do before I end the scene and the act? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to work on the scene first. Uh, advancement and completion. I'm going to show this to all of you guys. Just scroll down to completion. Uh, ending a scene. All players shuffle their pools back into their hands if necessary. You guys have done that. Uh, players with a hand of less than four. Uh, uh, actually, uh, for the end of an act, everybody's going to discard all of their cards anyway. So let's just go down to that. Ending an act. Uh, all players discard all destiny cards. And if they held on to it, their Cosm cards. So just hit discard. Um, before we start the next act, which is not going to happen tonight... Because um, it's 919 already. Um, uh, I will make sure that all those cards get shuffled back in. Okay. Uh, if your character has less than three possibilities, automatically return them to three. And I'll let you guys handle that. Um, does anybody have Prodigy? I do. I believe it's Prodigy that gives you the extra possibility. Is that correct? Um, which one? Prodigy. Yes, it is. Prodigy. Okay. 
So you go to four possibilities instead of three. Since none of you were above um, uh, three possibilities, you just are at three possibilities if you weren't before. Um, so, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, all characters regain all shock unless the ensuing act happens moments after the just completed act, which is not going to be the case. So all of your shock is recovered. Uh, wounded characters have been treated. Uh, and all of you gain 5 XP. Now, if you would, if all of you would prefer, I can put that 5 XP on there. But just add it to what you've got already. Uh, let, me, let me pop open a sheet uh, real quick. Okay, on on your character sheets on the right hand side, you'll have oh. unspent. Okay, um, so if you if you click on unspent, you need to improve that by five uh, experience points. And I don't think you're allowed to edit your it experience says, points. Yeah, it says GM only. Okay, I will edit all of those experience points. Um, and uh, and I will will get you guys up and running. Uh, let's see. See advancement rules. You may only exchange extra possibilities at the end of an adventure. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of the next game session, uh, we're not quite finished with this game session, but you're not going to need your cards anymore. <clears throat> um, uh, we will deal with cards when it's time to do it. Um, so for this one... Let's see, after you're all treated, um, Bouchard recommends that you return to your hotel since it's late uh, and get a night of rest. Then he asks you to return to the station the next morning to continue the investigation, um, but not all of you are going to be needed. Um, let's see... Do you have anything any of you want to be able to identify or have identified uh, that Ross, uh, that uh, Nightbird could not identify for you? Oh, not particularly. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nightbird, are you still holding on to the electrical shuriken that Rios and Chris found earlier? Or did you put that in the evidence bag? I put that in the evidence bag. Okay, all right. Uh, I, have, I have these things that I found in the house, though. So. Okay. Uh, like the, the young lady's clothes. And, uh, no, you put those into a bag also. Yeah. And that's where I think it was one of the thumb drives went to. Yeah. Okay, and then you've got the electrical um, uh, shuriken in there. Uh, am I am I handing all that to the council? Um, okay. If if you want to hand things to the council, that's fine. You can do that on the next morning. Because uh, they make themselves available at the police station. Yeah, I put that. Well, I put the the ninja stuff on that on that journal entry for okay. that journal for the council. Well, if you want to, I, I didn't know if the uh, officer wanted to look at the the other evidence, have like DNA ran on the well, on act the clothing or whatever. Actually, that makes a good point. Let's say you you uh, uh, in the in the morning tomorrow morning you actually make it so that um, uh, you bring that uh, that Nightbird brings that up and Bouchard uh, just says that's some great thinking. I've been busy filling out forms and records all night, and you can see when you get there in the morning, he has not gone home yet. He's still wearing the same clothes, and they have blood on them from the ninja, and they you know. Everything like that. So an officer's yeah, life is never done. Also have, yeah. Plus I also have this business card that he had too that may have, you know, has an address, may have some DNA on it or something too. Um, Whatever. No. Actually, when it reverted from, or not reverted, when it transformed from 
uh, Pan Pacifica to Core Earth uh, standards, the actual um, fingerprints disappeared. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. High tech fingerprints, fine. baby. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but couldn't mine still be there then? Because I have a card as well. Yours is still there. Um, and as far as I know, it did not transform because the the ninja that dropped it did not transform it but uh it it it's more or less let's put it this way if you were to have another surge happen right now you might disconnect on a four case so let's not do that yeah um but yeah you can show that card to bouchard uh and he's happy to help you guys look it up you know where it is yeah. um the yeah. the uh the cherry blossom research park is in tennessee uh, which has not been taken over by uh, Baraka yet. So, although it's, you know, could still yeah. be problematic. Um, any yeah, uh, mm -hmm. One more question before mm -hmm. you wrap up with me. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to remove the the, the hill's clues or the thumb drive in uh, my notes, or just keep it there? Do, do you want to make a journal entry out of it for yourself, or does it matter? Um, I would like to know what's on, you know, I would like to know what they find out. Okay. Uh, or, you know, if it, if it's important, you know, if I need to, you know, um, if my, if my group here needs to investigate it further or something. Well, <laughs> um, remember if you, not, then, remember you have a copy of one of the thumb drives. You just yeah. gave them a copy um, because there were two thumb drives available with the same information on it. Um, so okay. you guys are able to peruse that pretty easily later. Um, okay. As for okay. the clothes uh, that you found underneath the bed, uh, they belong to uh, her cousin uh, who had stayed with them probably a week earlier. In fact, she had probably just left within the last couple of days. Um, so her DNA was relatively fresh on there, uh, but she apparently was just visiting family. Okay. Okay. So, um, then, so she she's not in trouble or danger then. Okay. Um, you're you're not sure. Uh, most likely not. Uh, ninjas are, are generally pretty center 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 minded about what they're trying yeah. to accomplish. Yeah. So Well, um, please no no you know. Can, can you set a protection unit or whatever? <laughs> um, actually, Bouchard says, you know what, that's a, another great point. Um, we'll see if about... Watch her or whatever. Yeah, we'll see about talking uh, uh, to the police in her area to see if, if they could watch out for her. Um... Okay, uh, so Artorius, anything else? Okay, Rios, anything else? Uh, I've still got my smoke bombs, right? Yep, you've got those. Those should already have been added to your character sheet. Um, the text mm -hmm. for those is, is just what it is. Um, let's see... Uh, peaches. Peaches, anything else for you? They come and take your ninja away, by the way. They arrest him. All right. Naturally. Mm hmm Okay. Rios, were you going to say something else? Catherine? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, and Peaches, yeah, I, there I, she is. Yeah, I successfully stripped that ninja, so they take him away in his loincloth, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They take and, him away in his probably, loincloth. So I have no use for those. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm going to put, you know, take some of that fire reflective tape I have and put some on the uh, sleeves and the border of the, uh, what is it, that iridity mesh? Yeah, the iridity mesh clothing. Yeah. Right. So, um, uh, in the in the in the editing box for it, write down what you do to kind of dress it up. <laughs> sure. Um, so so it looks kind of like a cross between a fire jacket and armor. It, it doesn't look so like white ninja. Uh, there you go. Or was it black? Or was it black? It it was white. It was white. 
And these guys didn't glow in the dark? No. How did they have to be stealthy in the dark? How have ninjas worn white geese throughout history and not shown up everywhere? Um, I, 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 guess, I guess they could wear black. You know? I guess they could yeah, wear they black. Wore... The picture is white ninja, but... Yeah, they wore, uh, they wore white for training. They wore black on the... Or whatever was appropriate for the client. Yeah. Um, okay... All right, then in that case, let me get, uh, let's see, we just closed that out. Okay, that's that's it, I think. You guys have your experience points. Uh, you have your possibilities. Uh, it's too late tonight to have you guys spend any experience points. Um, so what I'll do is I will, who's trying to talk to me? Okay, um, I will I will make your, your current characters uh, tokens, the permanent tokens, and figure out how to shut off the lights again <laughs> to restore everything to what it is. And then I'll have all those notes if I need them. So, uh, if there's nothing else, if you guys don't have any questions, um, let's go ahead and, and what's up? Remember the XP as well. <laughs> yeah, oh, I will take care of the XP. As a matter of fact, I am going to take care of that uh, pretty much right now. Um, but if, if any of you have any questions, you know, go ahead and let me know. I'm in. Thanks for the game. It was yeah, fun. You bet. Uh, have any of you added any XP to your sheets at all? I can't. No, sir. No, I'm only. So the unspent XPs, you guys can't even edit? No, sir. Okay. Well, then I've got it. I'll, I'll square it away. All right. You guys have a great night, okay? You too, sir. All right. You too. All right. Take All care. Right. See, you See you next week. See you guys week. next week. Roger that. See you next week.